Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Friday. Hope you guys have had a good week, because i got a great episode in store for here, you uh, for you here, as usual. Um, this week, I'm going to be discussing a very popular beverage worldwide, especially in America, and that is coffee. Now, I'm not going to be getting into the health benefits in general of coffee here. I'm going to be discussing the performance-enhancing benefits of coffee specifically. So if you're somebody who might have an addictive personality, for instance, to caffeine, nicotine, uh, alcohol, whatever, perhaps um, this really isn't for you. Perhaps you don't want to be toying with using coffee for the means of performance benefit. Um, you know, maybe, but you can learn something from this video nonetheless. Uh, or if you're somebody with a pre-existing medical condition, perhaps that could be exacerbated by caffeine and uh, consumption or coffee consumption, then again, this video may not be um, really for you. Um, again, I, like I said, you could still learn something from it, but it might not be for you to be using it for a recreational means to achieve performance enhancing benefits from. Uh, but perhaps you can talk to your doctor or what have you and maybe you can work something out. But anyway, um, I'm going to be going down a, uh, some notes I've taken here. So feel free to follow along and uh, we're going to get right into it. So starting off with something that coffee is very popularly used for and that is fat burning. In research that was published in 2004 in the American Journal for Clinical Nutrition, coffee was shown to have a fat turnover rate, specifically while fasting, that was twofold greater than um, basically you know, your normal fat, healthy fat turnover rate uh, from exercise and what have you. So specifically while fasting. Um, so basically if you're somebody who consumes your final meal, let's say around 10 p.m., and you, you hold off to eating your first meal till around 10 a.m. despite being perhaps up earlier, like getting up for work around 8 or what have you, uh, and you have a coffee while you get up and you fast for an extra couple of hours, uh, you can you know, actually utilize this, this performance-enhancing benefit here. Um, in this case, the uh, fat-burning benefits of coffee. Now, again, that was while fasting, coffee ingested during a fast increased fat turnover rate twofold. And that's not to mention there was also a significant thermic effect, uh, a thermogenic effect, note witness as well. And this was when pitted up against a placebo. Furthermore, oxidative free fatty acid disposal was increased by 44%, and non-oxidative free fatty acid disposal was also increased by twofold. And energy expenditure was increased by 13%, doubling the turnover rate of fat. And there is a study that will appear in the top of the screen there that is where I got these details from. Now, moving down, um, next I want to touch on something actually I thought was kind of interesting. In research that was published in 2008 in the International Journal of Sport, Nutrition, and Exercise Metabolism, Coffee consumption has been shown to actually lead to a small increase in testosterone levels, approximately 15% when ingested during exercise. And there's a study that's going to appear up there where I got these details from. That's very interesting for somebody who might drink coffee during their session or just before their session as a bit of an energy booster is also going to get these benefits. So imagine uh, that in a really heavy... Uh, you know, weightlifting session, for instance, with heavy squats or heavy deadlifts, where you're already going to be increasing your intra-workout hormone levels, but add coffee in there and you get an extra 15% kick there. So anyway, moving down to uh, the next point that I want to make about coffee, um, and that is improving your, uh, your, exor your actual exercise potential during your workout. In research published in 2010 in the Journal of Medicine, Science, and Sports Exercise, Caffeine consumption improved maximal voluntary contraction strength by 7%, as well as muscular endurance by 18%. And this was especially in, uh, in exercises that involved knee extension. So think leg training, for instance. Um, and thus, this could push your workouts a little further, especially if you're into endurance sports, for one. Um, or you're going in for a heavy lag day, which is funny because I just mentioned with the testosterone boosting, perhaps this heavy squatting session. Um... And the study will appear at the top of the screen here for that. Now, furthermore, 
In research published in 1990 in the Journal of Psychopharmacology, uh, caffeine has been shown to improve alertness and performance while tested against placebo. Um, and that, that right there is something that, you know, you probably already knew, you don't basically went without saying, because people have been using coffee for alertness for, uh, for a very long time. It's what it's popularly used for. And that study's up here. But on top of that, in additional research in 1993, um, which will also appear in the top of the screen, uh, it showed a little difference between day or night consumption regarding the alertness and performance. That means that you could take the coffee in the morning or you could take it in the evening for training either time and the benefits are, are really don't differ. So it's negligible whether you do it in the morning or do it in the evening uh, for training. Now, um, in a research published in 2013 in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, uh, caffeine was actually shown, and this is very interesting, to spare muscle glycogen while still providing energy and endurance benefits. And that study is going to appear at the top of the screen. So that's actually really interesting that coffee can help your body um, produce an energy and endurance effect, uh, have, a, have a better quality of energy and endurance during your exercise without actually having to tap into muscle glycogen. So perhaps think that even maybe when you're in the in a state of depleted muscle glycogen, for instance, uh, training low carb, what have you, co coffee can give you that extra endurance energy boost. So think ketogenic dieting. Um, now moving forward, uh, research published in 2008 in the Journal of Applied Physiology, caffeine has also been shown to improve glucose uptake and thus leading to a quicker refill of your glycogen stores. And that study will appear at the top of the screen. So what that could show is that perhaps after you're finished training and you're taking your post-workout beverage um, with your carbohydrates or what have you, and maybe a little, little afterward you can have um, uh, some coffee or, or take caffeine supplementation, and that will actually help you uptake the glucose faster um, and thus refill your glycogen stores and recover from the workout quicker. Moving forward, um, in research published in 2006 in the Journal of Medicine, Science, and Sports Exercise, caffeine actually provided a large reduction in post-exercise muscle pain, and that study is going to appear in the top of the screen. Um, so if you feel like you're um, you know, suffering from some DOMS or from some soreness post-workout, and you just you want to do something about it, why don't you have a little bit of caffeine and some coffee? So basic, and, and th therefore that can help you with uh, the recovery and getting past a workout, a particularly difficult workout as well, especially in the early stages when everything's going to be causing you muscular pain. So there you go. And basically uh, what I want to get to now is a conclusion for all this. Um, for a myriad of performance and physique benefits, I do strongly recommend that you consume coffee and or a caffeine supplement. Um, assuming that you don't have, like I said in the beginning, any medical conditions or other conditions that would make this practice inadvisable. Um, you know, and, and also assuming that you understand how caffeine will affect your sleep cycle and you work around that. So, you, you know, you know that if you take caffeine X number of hours before you try to sleep, that you might not have the same quality of sleep. Now, some people, uh, myself included, don't seem to have that, that issue with caffeine. I can drink a coffee. I can drink 16 ounces of black coffee chock full of caffeine at like 8 or 9 p.m. and still get plenty of sleep that night. But that's not, that's, that's actually, it seems like kind of a rare thing. So, um, you know, bearing all that in mind, if you don't have any existing conditions and you understand how your body cycles work, um, then definitely I recommend using coffee for those mentioned uh, performance and physique benefits. It can certainly help you with your training and your fat loss. And even looks like to a degree with hormonal and uh, an alertness and attention during your workouts. Um, and when you might be cons you might be uh, asking how much you should be consuming of caffeine and or coffee. Well, what the studies show and link up here is that roughly 4.45 milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight, which would be approximately 344 milligrams 
of caffeine for a 170 pound guy or about 243 milligrams for about a 120 pound girl. And a typical cup of coffee contains anywhere from 1 to 200 milligrams, that's 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine in a typical cup, so an 8-ounce cup of coffee, depending on the strength of the, uh, the coffee, that is. So um, you can um, basically do the math with that and figure out what you might need. My, myself, uh, I tend to go with about 2 cups, which is 16 ounces of black coffee pre-workout. I also do that upon waking and a couple times during the day between meals, um, especially if I'm in a fat loss cycle. So uh, that's really all there is to say about that. I, um, I hope I was coherent. I'm a little bit tired today. If you have any questions or would like some clarification about something, please drop the comments below as always. Otherwise, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday for a new episode. Stay fit. Stay formidable and stay fantastic. See you around.